It's dark outside, but it's light in here. Chanukah, Chanukah is here. Rabbi Zalman Posner, a misnagid who opposed Hasidim in a very strong way, I once came to the Vorka Rebbe and said the following. He said, I don't understand you people. You call yourself Hasidim, right? But to be a Hasid, to be a person of great piety is a very high level. We know from the Ramchal's Mesilas Yesharim that being a chassid is really one of the highest spiritual levels that very few people ever attain. And yet your people have the gall to call themselves chassidim as soon as they visit a Rebbe and get a bracha. Well, who do you think you are? So says the Vorka Rebbe in response. He says that when a Jew truly loves the Holy Land, Eretz Yisrael, and yearns for God's return to Zion and for Am Yisrael's return to Eretz Yisrael, he is considered a Ben Eretz Yisrael, a resident of Israel, even though he hasn't yet settled there for some practical reason, because he yearns to be there. Now, the same thing is true of the Hasidim. Right? It's true, most Hasidim are regular people. Right? They haven't yet reached the exalted level of piety that's described in the Gemara and the Mesilas Yishar. But they do yearn for that closeness, and so they are Hasidim, even if they're not there just yet. You know, Hanukkah always falls out on the Parsha of Miketz. And I, and I always wonder, what's this connection between Hanukkah and Miketz? And I realize it struck me that Miketz is a particularly dark and difficult Parsha. The story of the separation of Yaakov and Yosef begins in last week's Parsha, Parsha's Vayeshev. And it only ends with a beautiful return of father and son together, the beautiful hug, it only happens in next week's Parsha. Miketz is really the heart of darkness. So what, what is this connection between Hanukkah and the heart of darkness? What are we talking about here? So while Parsha's Miketz is very dark, I realize that it's a darkness that's illuminated with extraordinary light. And that is the light of the yearning of Yaakov for Yosef and of Yosef for Yaakov. Right? Yaakov no matter how long Yosef is gone, and no matter how much people tell him to move on with his life, but he cannot stop yearning for his son. He never gives up hope to be reunited with his son Yosef. And Yosef, wherever he goes, wherever he is, but he has the image of his father before his eyes. So yes, Miketz is a dark Parsha, but it's a dark Parsha that's illuminated by the light of yearning, the light of love between a father and a son. And this, too, is the story of Hanukkah, which also took place during a very dark and difficult time in Jewish history. But for all the darkness, the Maccabim yearned for their father in heaven, and they brought great light to the world. And when the oil burned for eight whole days, this was Hashem's way of showing his love and his yearning for his people. There is no shortage of darkness and failure in this life, in all of our lives. But Hanukkah teaches us, right? And on Hanukkah, we feel that however dark it may be outside, right, we can light up our lives with a light of love and yearning for our Father in heaven. Hanukkah Sameach.